This is not financial advice. I'm a guy in my basement drinking coffee, then counteracting that with a hit of the dube. But I really think there's a play here for traditional car makers against Tesla and all the hype of electric cars. Ford expands hands-free driving system to $40,000 Lincoln Corsair crossover. Here it comes, dude. The reason I didn't buy an electric car is because they're too expensive compared to a traditional gas car. I'd rather save the money up front buying the car and buy the gas over multiple years' time. Now, things are starting to get interesting, though. Ford Motors expanding the availability of the hands-free highway driving system to Lincoln's entry-level Corsair crossover. 2023 Corsair, starting at about $40,000, will be the lowest-priced vehicle in the company to offer the technology. Ford's system uses a suite of cameras and sensors in addition to LiDAR mapping for hands-free driving on more than 130,000 miles of dedicated highway in North America. This is what's up straight out of Detroit. See, this is why I'm saying long Ford. The 2023 Corsair will be the sixth vehicle in Ford's lineup to offer the system for only the second Lincoln model following the brand's flagship Navigator SUV with the expansion of the system. Branded as Active Glide for Lincoln and Blue Cruise for Ford, the Corsair will be the lowest price vehicle company to offer the technology. Ford's electric Mustang Mach-E currently offers the technology and starts at about 50000 See, that's getting close, dude. The Mustang Mach-E Mach E is 50 G's. Currently, right now, if you want a Tesla, dude, they're like 60, 70 G's. So like the right way. You can't get a base model any of these cars, first of all. It's just a natural progression with the Corsair being the volume sales leader. Hands free driving on more than 130 miles of dedicated highway of North America controls the vehicle speed steering while it also monitors the driver's attentiveness through infrared camera system. And make sure you're still paying attention. The systems from GM and Ford both offer fewer capabilities than Tesla's advanced driver assistance systems such as autopilot or full self-driving which have been scrutinized for over-promising hands-free functionality and enabling drivers to misuse the system. No vehicles on sale today are full self-driving. All driver assist systems still require drivers to pay attention. It's coming though and the more of these vehicles that are on the road and the more data they get the smarter they get. It's like thinking of a car as a toddler right now and just every year they're getting smarter and smarter and smarter but I'm really thinking Ford and GM are about to run here compared to Tesla and like what makes it really interesting to me 939 billion let's change this to Ford 61 billion 60 billion for GM 34 billion for Rivian now tell me this it seems like we need to meet somewhere in the middle here right Tesla's price slightly overvalued these other companies are priced slightly undervalued there's somewhere in the middle here that we need to meet comment down below let me know what you think is Tesla overvalued are they going to keep going can Ford and GM ever catch up I'm trying to go long Ford and GM definitely trying to do it myself